Belly to belly contact. A few moments later. Hi Hello. guys! Thanks for joining us for another video today. Welcome back to our Dirty Dancing video series. In this video, we're going to be going over the instruction for the next section of the Dirty Dancing choreography. If you want to know how any of these moves line up with the musicality and the timing of the song, check out our musicality video on the same section. Otherwise, check out our earlier videos to get all caught up. Let's get into it. Now let's begin with the leader's footwork for this section. So once we've kind of prepped our arms, we're going to go into our crossover breaks. So we'll shift our weight to our left and step out on our right, or place the weight back on our left and together, and then shift the weight on the right, step on the left, shift the weight back to our right foot, and then bring our feet back to this position. And then as we turn our fall, we're going to step back on our right foot, replace the weight onto our left, and then bring our feet back together. And then we're going to step forward on our left back onto our right, and then back together. And then here we're just going to shift weight for three beats. One, two, three, and that's it. Now let's go over the follower steps. So after we prep our arms to our followers right, then left, we're gonna come over here for a crossover break. So forward on the left, replace to the right, side with the left, right foot forward, replace to the left, right foot side, and here we're going to go under for an underarm turn, step forward and across with the left, replace our weight to the right foot, step down with the left. And now we're going to go back with the right foot, replace our weight to the left, and together. Alright, now let's have a look at the lead and follow for this section. Okay, so leads, we're going to be using these arms to prep for our crossover break here. So just a small shift to the left, then to the right to wind her up, and then we're going to get into the crossover break. So we want to make sure that we have tension in our arms, in our frame here, with a nice 90 degree angle, kind of like it's going on a rope here as we move back and forth. Exactly. And then we'll go through the other side. And then as we're coming back from here, we're already going to start lifting the arm up for the follow to step underneath. And then we mentioned in the footwork how the lead is stepping backwards during all of this. We want to make sure we don't take too big of a step backwards or it's going to prevent the follow from being able to make her turn. So just a nice small step so that she can do that. And then as soon as she completes her turn, we're going to put our hand on her waist. And then we're going to complete our footwork as we go forward and back. And as we do this, we're going to pull her into us. So we have this kind of belly to belly contact that we can use for the next step. All right, now let's talk about the connection and styling for this section. Okay, so as we're going into the crossover breaks, we're going to want to pay attention to our styling. So we can do a couple different things here. We, in the video, they go out parallel to the floor. If you want to spice it up a little bit, you can go out like a V, higher up and back. Um, make sure you want to be a little parallel to your partner, mirror your partner in this. Yeah, so follows, leads, just try and make sure we're matching each other's angle for this. If you know your partner wants to just do parallel to the floor, it's best to match that, otherwise it's going to look kind of asymmetrical. And we'll go through to the other side. And then here, as we're doing the turn, again, the way they do turns in this choreography, um, Patrick Swayze usually just kind of whips his head around, or whips his, his arm around um, her head. It's not like give the signal and let her go, like he takes a very active role in it and he just kind of whips her around. So that is a styling choice that you can make as well, but just keep in mind once we do this, we bring our arm immediately down to her waist so that we're ready to continue. And then we take the step and bring the follow in nice and close. And then he does this kind of like, you know, more uh, romantic kind of dance up close with her before continuing on. Video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content by Green Bay Ballroom. If you want to check out how any of these moves line up with the timing or the musicality of the song, please check out our musicality video on the same section. Otherwise, check out our earlier videos to get all caught up. We hope to see you there. Bye! Bye.